I got some bike stuff. These. What is it? It's called quad lock. Looks like this. It's a system made to lock your phone in. So you're supposed to be able to stick this on the back of your phone, this thing, and then it sort of locks in here and pops off. But I want to make something to go on the bike to hold the GoPro a little bit better. Now they make GoPro holders, right? The kind that you just clamp on the bar of your handlebar of your bike. But the problem is you can't easily pop it off when you need to film something to the side while you're riding. So a lot of times I'm going along and I see something really cool. I want to be able to pop that GoPro off and show things to the side or also I want to be able to grab that GoPro and turn it around and vlog with myself while I'm riding the bike. So I've come up with this as a potential solution. The problem is I need to come up with a base to stick this to that the GoPro can mount in. So that's what we're going to work on today. So I've got an idea and I'm going to show you. So here's how this comes in a package. You've got the quad lock that comes in this, which is the universal adapter with the sticky, sticky goodness on it. This is the twist and lock out front mount is what this is called. So here's my idea. So this is how I've been using the GoPro in a little tripod mount like this. I can hold it, you know, do everything I want. So I'm wanting to eliminate this tripod. Not that I won't bring it along for other things, but just when I'm actually riding the bike, I have this mount that works like this. So I want to take this, the GoPro off this mount. And this is the GoPro with the external mic recorder, that little mic that I've talked to you guys about before, and that Sugru material to hold it on top here. Still gives you room to get in here and hit your start-stop button. So I need a way to attach this mount to this. But this is, this is much bigger, right, than, I, than, the, than the mount itself. So I want something in between there so that I can get maximum adhesive from this material that goes on this quad lock. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I've got a piece of aluminum flat bar that's pretty much the same size. It's a little bit smaller than this, but not much. So I think I can kind of make this work. So I'm going to cut a piece and round this off, smooth it out, make it look uh, better, and so that I can then take that flat bar, mount this through there, Get myself a flat-headed screw, maybe countersink this just a little bit here so that I can put a, a quarter 20 screw through here to hold the mount on and have something that's solid to increase the size of this base to stick this, to stick this little guy to. So that's what we're going to work on. Aluminum's still kind of hot, but you get the idea. Just a piece of metal that this will stick to, but that we can also mount this on. So now we need a flat head quarter 20 screw to go into here, into here, through here. So we'll drill a hole. We'll go get a screw that's flat head that'll, that'll go in here and do it up. I think that should do it for us. Now it's fair for me to tell you that quad lock is not gonna recommend what I'm about to do but this is sort of a modified version of their universal adapter so I'm gonna make some changes. This is also the point where I really wish I had a drill press but I don't so I'm gonna use a hand drill which is gonna be very difficult but if you have a drill press this will be easier. Also if you don't have a a uh, jigsaw with a metal blade, you can use a handsaw, like a hacksaw for it. Or if you don't have a grinder, you can use just a file. It's going to take you longer. You can do these things by hand still. So what I'm doing is not really, you know, 
it's not going to be impossible if you don't have the power tools, I guess is what I'm saying. So anyhow, what we're about to do, not going to be recommended by quad lock, but I think, I think this will happen. Also, I did buy extra washers. I got two different sizes of flat washer, one lock washer to go with that screw. I did that on purpose because I don't want to have to make another run back to the hardware store. I probably have more than I need, but I'd rather have more for the dollar and 53 cents I spent for that. I'd rather have extras and not have to make another trip. The other question might be, why did I use a hex uh, key style uh, quarter 20 bolt on that flathead style bolt? It's because I always have Allen wrenches on the bike because everything on the bike is an Allen wrench. So that way if I have to tighten this or make adjustments, I should have the tools with me to do it. So just FYI. This is the alcohol prep pad they send with this to prep for this adhesive. We're just going to peel this off. Give it a stick. that okay it's a little hanging a little over the sides which is fine we can trim this with a knife the plastic's really pretty flexible and soft it's almost kind of rubbery is we're going to use our quarter inch bit again and we're just going to drill through the plastic right through the bottom of this it's very soft don't worry about if it's not like perfectly centered. It doesn't really matter. Cause we're gonna put this through here like so. And we're gonna countersink it too. Okay. Go back to our big bit. All right. Just like that. And then we can even make this bigger if need be as well. Pretty flat. Give it just a little more. It's pretty flat. When I think we tighten it down, I think it's gonna be fine. So see what we're going to do is put this on here. This is the Allen key set that I keep in my bike. Maybe just start with just a flat washer and see how much space we've got. That'll probably do it. And honestly, I don't want it to be too tall. I was hoping to get a lock washer in there, but I think the lock washer is going to add too much height. What we're going to do is we're going to use a little lock Loctite. If you're not familiar with this, it's a thread locker. It also helps keep it from seizing and does give you the ability to get it off there if you need to. It's blue in color like this, which is interesting. Put our flat washer on there. I'm going to give it a pretty good grip here. Tighten it up nice and tight. That's almost perfectly flat now in the center. You can see that with our GoPro mount and this metal. So the idea is I can stick the GoPro on here. This will be on my handlebars. Pops in and out. You ready to take it off? You just press down here, twist, comes out. So let me show you what this will look like when it's sort of on the bike. So here you can see I've mounted this around the handlebars. It comes off very easily with an Allen screw. It's just out here on the front of the handlebars. I'll, uh, I'll zoom out to show you a little bit. Just right here, out on the front, the cockpit of the bike, there's the handlebars. 
right out there it's really sturdy once it's once it's mounted down so here's what it looks like when it's on the bike so when you need to take it off you reach in here twist and press on this twist and off it comes so you can film to the sides if you need to the front or whatever snap it back on you're good to go again so there you have it a solution to getting your GoPro on and off your bike fairly quickly and easily a way to easily pop it off get a view of the side put it back on quick release I'm gonna put the link to these products down in the description so that you can see the Amazon links for them it's from quad lock so if you want to build this you can do it yourself too I think I've got about fifty dollars in it or so something like that so it's not cheap but I've got another thing coming that I'm going to use it for as well that correlates to the drone. So I'll show you that again soon. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow, maybe.